Uh, in uh, this uh, video, I will show how you can install the LabVIEW uh, software. Basically, go to Google and search um, download LabVIEW like this. And then you get different options there. So make sure to select LabVIEW download. Don't select this one, LabVIEW student software suit download. Because this is old, you need to select LabVIEW download. Then you come to the download page, page where you can download the LabVIEW software. Here you have different options. First you need to select operating system, Windows in my case. I select the latest version. Then I select the professional version. Then you can choose between 64 and 32 bits. I prefer 32 bits because many of the toolboxes that you use in LabVIEW still only works for 32 bits version of Windows or, or on the LabVIEW. So then I recommend 32 bits edition of LabVIEW. Then you can select the driver software included, um, yes or no. You can, if you need these driver software, you can install them later. So then typically I just select no here. And first time you need to log in to download. So then just click on this button. Then, if you already have a NI uh, user account, just type your email address and password. If not, create a new account. Then type in your first name, last name, your role, your email address, and your password. If you are a student at the university, make sure to select or enter the email address uh, that is used at your university. Then, when you have created this NI user account, you need to log in in order to download the software. So, when you have logged in, then this download button is enabled, so then you can just click download in order to download the LabVIEW software. Then it uh, typically takes some time to, to download. If nothing happens, yeah, so you see here, it's starting to download this uh, installation file. When it's finished, just click open. Uh, if this is not popping up, you can just go to Downloads and then you will find the installation file here. So either just click Open File here or click on this one. So then I just start the installation of the LabVIEW software. Then first I just, uh, the installation um, needs to install something called NI Package Installer, then just click Yes. starts installing these uh, packages so then I just need to click accept these license agreements click next here it some warning about disable the Windows fast startup in order to uh, make sure that the installation works as expected so then just click next and then next once more and then this package will be installed then next you need to select which uh, packages that you need to install at least you need to select the LabVIEW programming environment. You have also different options here, different drivers, etc. that you can install if you need them. I just deselect everything because you can install all these uh, packages that you need uh, later. So typically I just select the programming environment, LabVIEW, and click Next. Then here in this um, window, um, and I suggest that you also install these additional items. So you can choose to install these items or just select deselect all. And then you will only install uh, the basic LabVIEW environment because you can install all these packages later if you need them. So then I just click next. And then LabVIEW will ins be installed on your computer. First, I just need to accept this license agreement. Click next and click next and then LabVIEW will be installed on your computer. So now the LabVIEW software has been installed on your computer. Next you need to activate the software. Then you have different options. Typically you just do it uh, immediately, but you can also activate it later. But let's just activate it now. So then you need to log in to activate. Just click this button.
Then you need to log in to your NI user account, which you created earlier. So just use your email from your company or your university and the password that you created earlier. So after you logged in, you just typically select here in the drop down menu, enter a serial number, and then you find this LabVIEW professional development system, this one, enter a valid uh, serial number or license key that you get from your company or your university. So uh, this license number is updated every year, so typically every year you need to get the latest um, serial, number, serial number or activation key from your company or your university. Then when you enter a valid serial number, just click um, activate. And now your LabVIEW software has been activated and you can use it as I said here for 393 days. And after that you need to uh, enter a new valid license key. So then just click finished. You can typically reboot, reboot your computer or just click um, close and then you can just type search here. Search for LabVIEW and then you will find LabVIEW here. Then typically also want to pin to taskbar and then you can use it from here. Then just open it. So here in the window that pops up, in the startup window, uh, then you just select file, click new VI, and then you are ready to start using LabVIEW. Here you have the so-called front panel where you create your graphical user interface, and this white window is the block diagram where you create the actual code. So typically you, just, you start with the front panel, you just right click, you get this uh, controls palette where you have these uh, graphical items uh, that you can use in order to create your graphical user interface. So here you have some numeric controls, just drag it in, um, whatever you need. Here are some um, boolean buttons and then when you create these items on your front panel, you also get these objects on the block diagram and then you can wire your code. You can um, right click here to use the functions palette. You can add a while loop, uh, etc. So basically that's how you create your LabVIEW program. Also here on the control palettes, you can also pin it and then you can select customize, change visible palettes and then you can choose the different palettes that you want to, to use. My personal favorite is this Fuse uh, design system, which I prefer, and I just remove the other ones. Click OK, and then when I right click here, I only see these palettes that I'm going to use. If you need to add more, just go back, pin it, click Customize, change to these pal palettes, and then choose the different palettes that you are going to use. Also on the here on the functions palette you have different palettes where, where you can choose uh, the different functionality that you need in uh, your LabVIEW program. Uh, if you for some reason still haven't activated the LabVIEW or need to reactivate it, then you can just type search, then type NI, license manager. And in the NI license manager, you get an overview of all the products that you have uh, installed here and if you have a valid license or not. So then assume you want to reactivate this um, uh, LabVIEW environment, then you just select local licenses, select uh, the edition of the LabVIEW you have installed, in my case, a professional uh, development system, then you can either reactivate or deactivate uh, the license. So assuming you get a new license key, then just uh, reactivate and enter the new valid license key. Another program that is handy to use is this uh, tool called NI Package Manager, which is also installed uh, together with LabVIEW. With this software, you can either uninstall packages or you can install new packages. 
So here under install, then you see uh, the different packages that you have installed, and then you can either select one or more and click repair, or you can choose to remove them. And also if there are some updates, they, you will find them here under updates, and then you just select different items that you want to update and click the update button. If you want to install additional uh, software products or additional packages or toolkits, you find it here. You can either select one of these uh, groups or basically you can search for a package here and then you can install that package from this environment. So basically that's all you need in order to start uh, using the LabVIEW programming environment.